Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. We want to welcome you to another exciting edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. And today we're going to bring you more empowerment. I have a whole bunch of wonderful people that are joining our show today. And we come to you live on Tuesdays from the beautiful, um, the beautiful station of Think Tech Hawaii here at the Pioneer Plaza building. Thank you again, Think Tech Hawaii, for giving us the opportunity to empower others. Today, we're going to do just that with the wonderful winning team of Rise Up Farmers. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, the p president, founder of Rise Up Farmers, Elvin Austria Laceda. Yes, Thank welcome. Thank you, Ms. Amy, for inviting us. And it's our privilege to, to join your show and... Uh, share the power to all our Filipino friends here in Hawaii and others. And together with me is Princess Donato. Welcome, Princess. Yes. And, and Joseph Duana. Okay, yeah. Princess yes. and uh, Joseph are uh, joining us. And I consider them my co-founders in the... Uh, mm -hmm. company in the pro project that we created. Wow, yes. talagang excited na ako. I'm so happy to be able to let the whole world know of uh, this wonderful project that you got going. So Thank tell you. us about how you got started. I am from the Philippines. I was born in Manila, mm -hmm. uh, but grew up in the rural areas of Pampanga since uh, nung bata ako, mm -hmm. na ngarap po talaga ako na mm -hmm. magkaroon ng paraan para matulungan yung ating magsasaka. So, ang aking lolo po, lumaki ako sa kanya, uh -huh. ay isang magsasaka. He's a farmer. He was a farmer. And he tried his best to work hard. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day, konti pa rin yung kita. The income uh -huh. is not, uh, he doesn't get the income he deserves. Uh -huh. As well as yes. other farmers. Uh -huh. So, I, from... You had a dream? Yeah, I studied, uh -huh. I studied agriculture engineering, which is very rare in Philippines. And then, nakakuha po ako ng scholarship dito sa Brigham Young University. Wow, oh, BYU! Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and, and uh, when I came there, 2016, nangarap po ako. Actually, mm -hmm. yung daladala ko lang dito sa Hawaii was, mm -hmm. was 88 pesos. So 88 pesos? Ako, <laughs> oh, hindi ka pa magkabili ng pagkain? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. So, yun yung natira sa bulsa ko noon, oh. nagdumating po ako dito. Pero, I use that inspiration uh -huh. to not only help myself, but our people in Philippines. Oh, oh. And now together with our team, we created uh -huh. Rise Up to innovate how mm -hmm. farmers deal with agriculture mm -hmm. because we believe that agriculture can really create prosperity in our country. Wow, you've yeah. done so much with a span of not even uh, two years, yeah? Uh, Paul, well, if yes. my math is right, <laughs> but it's going three and uh, you've uh, come a long way and you are living, you're all living the dream. See yeah. what happens when uh, with uh, some education, a lot of passion in your heart to make yeah. a difference. And that's what's happening with you. So I'm so excited because you had just gotten back from uh, being recognized for the great deed that you have done. Yeah, a princess can talk more about mm -hmm. that, the Enactus mm -hmm. program that we are part of. Okay, yeah. princess. You do look, really look like a princess. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Of Aladdin. Thank you, yes. Um, well, Enactus, it stands for Entrepreneurial Action Within Us. Mm -hmm. It's an organization that encourages universities, not only in the USA, but around the world, to um, be part of social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And so just last month, we had our nationals for um, the competition here in the USA where different universities across the country mm -hmm. came um, presented their own ideas. Mm -hmm. um, they judge us based on the impact that we've done this year. And so last month, we competed with 98 other universities, mm -hmm. and we won again for the second time. Second in time in yeah. a row. Yeah. That's wow. Yes. <laughs> and mm -hmm. the best thing, Tita, is we are representing also the Philippines. Yeah, and similar other universities in that's in Kansas City. Uh -huh. And in September, we'll be advancing to the World Cup, uh, which is very ironic. Uh, our project is in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and we will represent the United States. Wow. Yeah. USA. Yeah, but, <laughs> but our our eventual plan is mm-hmm. to also impact farmers here in Mm-hmm. Uh, Hawaii. That is so mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Philippines at one time was lo- like the center or rice granary of uh, Asia, di ba? Yeah? Yes. We were known for our rice production and we thought we were heading the right way by doing so. And then all these uh, modern technology came into place and then I was so disappointed. I went back to my old barrio where everybody was a farmer. We never had to worry about rice because oh. our bodega, our nipahat was loaded with rice, <laughs> you know, uh, no shortage. And ngayon, palagang iba. It's so different. So I'm so happy that you're all doing this, that we would never go hungry in the Philippines yeah. as long as we have rice. Yeah. yeah. It's different in America because yeah. they're like potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and Joseph will talk more about that. Like, how are we using innovation so that young people can be part of this? So there's yeah. perpetration of yes. farmers. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, mixing modern technology exactly. that are available. Yeah. Wow, I can, be, I can be going to sleep and then be planting rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have brought my pangoria. <laughs> planting rice is never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So really, it started because you know we saw the problem, and it was a very personal thing for Elvin and his family. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I feel his passion. That's what was happening uh-huh. with basically every other farmer in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. In the old system, they barely made any money because mm-hmm. they most of them didn't even know how to really deal with business. Uh-huh. So but they you were know, being taken Joseph, advantage of. Uh, no money, but we never go to bed hungry because we always had rice. Mm-hmm. Rice yeah. with bagong, patis, <laughs> manga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. So we wanted to, to leverage that, the Filipino ability to, to innovate and to, to create better solutions for agriculture. Mm-hmm. And so we built Rice Up starting with, with you know, a farm school that has grown to 30 farm schools in that Farm schools now in Pampanga and Davao. Uh-huh. So we were teaching farmers and the farm schools not just to innovate new farming systems, but to develop technologies and to include technology in their processes. Because mm-hmm. like you said, technology came up and we kind of got left behind. You fly with it. We fly, yeah. 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 But yeah. now we're trying to get ahead of the system mm-hmm. so that our farmers can be ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, thank God for your creative minds, the yeah. young minds with young, fresh ideas. How come we never thought of that? <laughs> I think uh, in the Philippines because our culture is really unique and which that na dapat din naman natin ipagmalaki. Oh, oh. However, yung mga kap- karatig bansa po kasi namin natin mga kapitbahay natin, mm-hmm. talagang inembrace nila ang innovation. Yes. Pero tayong mga Pilipino dahil sa pagmamahal natin sa tradisyon, oh, oh. minsan ayaw natin ng pagbabago. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Pero tama. ngayon, uh, the, the 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 era has changed mm-hmm. and we have young people now who are uh, with us, mm-hmm. empowered to to makisabay po sa oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. And we are happy that the government too has finally seen yeah. that we need to change. I think it's a wake up call <laughs> yeah. for the government. You yeah. know, they they should look at your module and what you've started. And uh, eventually, if the whole government of the Philippines supported this. Man, uh, it would take our country mm-hmm. to a new height. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, we're so happy that the Philippine president, President Duterte, uh-huh. has invited us. In the palace, and I talked with him and, mm-hmm. and uh, introduced what we're currently doing. Uh-huh. And he wants this project to be around the Philippines. Well, he so, needs yes. to wake up and rise up. Yeah, you know? and rise up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, yeah. give those that uh, don't have a chance, na yeah. walang talagang pag-asa, yeah. to give them something uh, that they could work towards. Yeah. Since uh, you have all the knowledge now and uh, the tools the creative minds and the people that are supporting you seems like everybody is noticing, no? Yeah, I want to be. I want to be a part of that. When you <laughs> offered me your know, percentage loan, I should have really jumped at that. <laughs> the opportunity is still there, Diba. The yes, yes, uh-huh. still there. And the one. Yeah, and we want to work with our fellow kababayans Uh-oh. from different provinces. Yes. For example, in Ilocos Norte, uh, th- that's one of our key priorities to mm-hmm. be there and to help and empower Ilocanos. Yes. Yeah. L- let me uh, help my fellow Lawagenos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And even here po in Hawaii, uh-huh. if there are any uh, farmers or Filipinos here okay. that know people in the Philippines, mm-hmm. as well as here in Hawaii, we would mm-hmm. be willing to contact them yeah. and work with them. Yeah. yeah, let me introduce you to a great farmer who's dedicated. It will be his new baby, Uncle Francis Cristobal. Oh, he has okay. a couple of uh, acres in uh, 
uh, further out by Hale Eva. Oh, uh, he will get very, very excited because he's passionate about farmer, farming. He could yeah. do almost anything. <laughs> uh, and he's got the, the tractors. He doesn't have the drone, but I suppose you can talk him <laughs> into, uh, you know, in, you know uh, upgrading. Yeah, yeah. Because his mindset niya the Luma, really old mm. way of thinking. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with just that. Just sharpen it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And talking about the drone, Tita, yeah. uh, we also want to inform our Kababayans mm -hmm. that last week we are the first social enterprise who used drone in planting rice. Oh, so from, what from a combination! <laughs> from yeah. eight hours per hectare. Uh huh. Dati po yun yung kadalasan ginugugol ng mga farmers. Uh oh. Ngayon is just twenty minutes. Twenty yeah. minutes? Yeah. And okay. you can do it in the, the you can do it in the dark. Yeah. Yes. In the night. That is so exciting. Yeah. So this yeah. will this will this will help the farmers to not have to you know bend over so much. Because oh, oh. you know? we yeah. see that maraming beses mga farmers na ihirapan kasi oh, oh. especially in their older age. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This will this is really gonna help them. Yeah. At sakay wala ng shortage ng water, no? Apo, yeah. yung kada kagandahan ngayon na may bagong batas sa Pilipinas Free mm -hmm. Irrigation Act that gives farmers free access to mm -hmm. irrigation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, problema lang natin dun sa mga tataas na lugar po. So oh, uh -huh. we can innovate that too. So whenever we see problem in rice up, uh -huh. we see opportunity. We we'll use a drone to carry water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and uh, also in in um, in the Philippines now, especially sa rice up po natin, may three thousand three hundred farmers that are mm -hmm. part of the program. Compared to the growing, yes, and growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Karamihan ng mga kabat kabataan na sumasali. Oh, oh. Yeah. They're seeing hope in farming now. Yes. yes. Yeah. Whereas yeah. before, farming used to have this uh, stigma. That yes. Farming is for the poor and it's not a very good business. But now, farming yeah. oh, is good uh, business. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys really uh, created some excitement. Uh, I want to go home and be a farmer <laughs> in the Philippines. <laughs> Looking over my hacienda. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, like the, yes. you know the Avenger movie where they have the rice terrace? Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd like to be that one. <laughs> So peaceful and nice. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and agriculture, we consider uh, currently, Tita, the agri agriculture sector only contributes 8.7% of our economy. Mm -hmm. But we believe that there is power in increasing the productivity mm -hmm. so that the countryside, the rural areas, can have enough surplus po. Na alam niyo po, may isang mal malungkot din tayong story sa Philippines, diba? Mm -hmm. Maraming kababayan natin na nagsasakripisyo na umalis sa kanilang pamilya uh -oh. to work abroad. Mm -hmm. yes. And then, yung iba na abuso. Pero we found an opportunity that we can increase prosperity sa rural areas so mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. families don't, wala, have don't have to live. Going abroad will be an option, not a necessity. Wow. So, that's our one of our eventual goal in RISA. This is really uh, yeah. changing the game, yeah? yeah? I'm so excited because, like you said, a lot are OFWs, and then uh, it creates uh, family separation, breaks up in the family, because a lot can happen when uh, families are mm. separated, you know, because yeah. of distance. Yeah. Uh, sure, the money is there, but uh, not everything can be bought by money. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Especially the presence of parents. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And family unity. Kailangan na uh, the family is always together as yeah. a whole. Alam mo niya, no? Yes. Families are forever, di ba? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And also, that's also our core values in Rise Up. We uh -huh. start with the family. Mm -hmm. We believe that Filipino families deserve better. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to end hunger. We want to create prosperity through entrepreneurship. And that's what we see now in the farmers' lives in Philippines. Yeah. I'm so excited, <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't help it. Wow, that's a song. <laughs> okay, we want to thank our first set of guests, uh, of course, Alvin Austria. I like saying that name, Laceda, uh, the uh, president and uh, CEO founder, yeah? At saka yung princess, talagang princess, <laughs> si Joseph, talagang guwapong guwapo. But, uh, anyway, uh, we're talking about uh, Pinoy power and we certainly have that. We're gonna return and tell you about the other side of our equation because Rise Up uh, Farmers is not uh, just only about Filipinos. We have other powers or pertinent ingredient that makes up the whole. So we'll be back here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. Aloha, this is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world. 
and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in, and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there, and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and today we are sharing this very, very important empowerment. In fact, I'm so excited that I just can't wait to tell the whole world. And uh, to do just that is the founder, uh, president, CEO of Rise Up Farmers, Alvin Austria Laceda. We have uh, two good looking brothers uh, <laughs> who is part of our extended power, and they're going to tell us how they were able to succeed with this wonderful uh, project of feeding the world yes. and, and hunger. Yes, okay, yes. Alvin, take So yeah, uh, I want to introduce uh, our friends, to our friends, <laughs> <and> our <laughs> Filipino friends. Uh, this is uh, Paul Wilson. He's our faculty advisor in BYU Hawaii who helps Great and supports teacher. us yeah, yes. in our project. And uh, James Assel, he's our uh, uh, chief uh, media producer, so he produced all our videos and mm -hmm. our branding strategy. Asshole, uh -huh. are you with Princess? Yeah. Are you guys together? Yes. Wow, you're the prince for the princess. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this. Okay, great. This is a family affair. Yeah. yeah. Our extended family, of course, with our brother here. Wow, what a great teacher. Right. Yeah. It really goes to the students. Like, mm -hmm. we get asked a lot, like, what we're doing with our program with how Elvin had talked about Enactus and competing. Mm -hmm. Enactus is the national organization has asked us, you know, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And we, we just tell them we get out of the way, you know, because it's really very student-led. Mm -hmm. You're um, just there to kind of just we're guide. Just, uh, yeah, they're yeah. where they need us and yeah. not get in the way and let them really change the world. Like, to see what Rice Up is doing, we've had a student organization similar before, but Rice Up has really gotten some traction, so it's exciting to see what's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alvin is so passionate. That oh. <laughs> it, it shows with his countenance. Yeah. And, yeah. and also, uh, Tita, I want mm -hmm. to uh, emphasize a key in ingredient in our project. And mm -hmm. I hope in the Philippines we have this. Mm -hmm. when, when, I was, when I started doing the project here, mm -hmm. the most, I think the most important ingredient in any social enterprise or any project mm -hmm. is mentorship opportunity. Mentorship. Yeah. Yes. If you want to start a business, you need someone who's already in the game or has some expertise. Mm -hmm. And teachers like Brother Paul yes. and others in BYU Hawaii has provided mm -hmm. tremendous mm -hmm. support to us. And that's my hope in the Philippines too, that young people can be mentored by successful mm -hmm. businesses. Well, it's divine leadership, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, guided by the Holy Spirit, if I may say that, because I, tru I truly am inspired. And uh, you, you got to have the belief, yeah. the faith. Planting faith, planting rice, they go together, <laughs> right? You're so good looking. You could just stand okay. there and just nod your head, right? Okay? <laughs> Jim, so, James loves the Philippines, too. He's been there for maybe... I know, he's married in the Philippines. Yeah. So, James, tell us. Tell us why, how, how did you get started? Okay, so actually, when I was first... Um, first time I met Elvin was 2016. Mm -hmm. And there was a competition that our school put on. Mm -hmm. And so he needed somebody to help him create a video. Mm -hmm. So that was the first ever concept of Rice Up. And so mm -hmm. we teamed up and then Princess joined and then we had more people follow and mm -hmm. we won uh, a prize from it. Mm -hmm. And from that money from the actual um, the prize of the contest, we reinvested into the project. And then we just kept growing from growing. there. We hired people in the Philippines mm -hmm. and we just expanded, created a brand and then worked with lots of people. So 
Um, I think coming from an outside perspective, mm -hmm. me being American, um, I think it's just so exciting to see just a different perspective mm -hmm. of how the Philippines is and how America is mm -hmm. and how you can kind of learn from things from the Philippines mm -hmm. um, and from the great people there and how you can also take some technology in America mm -hmm. and some things that they do right. and kind of implement it and then join worlds and create something amazing. This um, is so amazing. Uh, now, Brother, uh, Brother Paul, uh, my husband is an LD. We are LDS, uh -huh. okay? I converted. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a saying. The quick, uh, the wider the rice, the quicker you're dead. You, you're familiar yes, with that, right? I am, yeah. Are you just doing this with white rice? Because I'm into brown rice, <laughs> wild rice, <laughs> bread rice, bro uh, black rice. All kinds of rice. Yes. Yeah. And also, uh, we only call rice, uh, I mean, we just chose the name rice up mm -hmm. as a general term of rising up. Rising up. But mm -hmm. yeah. we are also enabling farmers mm -hmm. to create integrated farms with different crops, okay. not only rice. Mm -hmm. Not only rice. Because we also have seen in our two years of operation, they earn more money mm -hmm. when they plant other crops mm -hmm. in their rice land. Yes. So from seven to one dollars a month before, they're now earning five hundred to seven hundred dollars a month. Wow. Because of that in integrated farming system. So rice up is not only with about not rice. rice. Okay. And it, different kinds of crops and livestock too. Uh -huh. And different uh, mechanism in technology. Yeah. yeah, I think okay. to also put it into perspective, like for those that are watching from the United States, like $71 to $500 doesn't seem like a lot, but we calculated it to what it would be mm -hmm. if it was here in the United States. And that's like a family making $900 and going to $5,000. So really Rice Up is taking these farmers out mm -hmm. of poverty into the middle class. And that's what's making it so powerful and so popular where they people can get, see a yes. future in it. I, I hear you, brother. Let me tell you. I understand. <laughs> We're rising up. So uh, I'd like to do more for our comrades in Lawag because I go there frequently. That's where I grew up, in the rice field, five years old. I used to see, I used to see an airplane. I used to go, oh, apo, eplano, eplano. I didn't even know how to say airplane, but I wanted to ride that airplane from uh, five years old. And it brought me to Hawaii because of the passion, the burning passion. To make yeah. a difference, so yeah. I, I can totally relate. Yeah, and also we we not we want to congratulate you as one of the uh, uh, best law genius, right, Tita? Oh, oh I <laughs> thank you so much for the honor. Yeah, and this is why I want to bring this to Lawag and make all Lawagenos aware that there is hope. Yeah, you know, they they mm -hmm. they can. Uh, farm or be a farmer and yeah i like to see more bawang production yeah the, you're, yeah you're garlic one, you're the top producer yeah. of garlic uh -huh. there like your garlic longanisa is the best oh, <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. brother paul have you had that i haven't had that oh yeah. to longanisa. die for longanisa yeah. yeah 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 the empanada was uh -oh. so good too i know cool yeah. yes yes so actually on july we'll be there in in ilocos norte to, okay to work with that and i i believe this June, we will talk more about how can we establish the project in Ilocos Norte. Yeah, uh, how about the schools? Because yeah. there are three districts that I support, mm -hmm. always depending on uh, help. And the, I do my big fundraising, but uh, please. We can, yeah, we can do yeah. school gardens for yes. young people, for the kids, so that they can uh, have nutritious food in their schools. Yes. So we can do that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to see Amorosa School, uh, Cabeza. Start with them, and uh, if there's a startup start yeah. money needed, I'll find it so that we could uh, start with them. That's great. Yeah? That's good. Sure, Tita. Uh -huh. uh, uh, from Ju July to September, I'll be in the Philippines. James will join me at the end of July. You're so and lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and the team will join. The other team members will go there on August. So that uh -huh. when the World Cup comes in September, we'll report. We've done something new in Lawag City and yes. other places in Philippines. Let me be a part of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We believe in the power of Filipinos when we work together. As oh, well. yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. yes. With divine intervention, I have faith <laughs> that uh, you will go much further than mm -hmm. where you are now. So mm -hmm. excited. Uh, so how could they become? Those that are waiting to want to jump on the ship, on board, how could they? Can I start with the yes. kababayan? Yeah. Oh. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Uh, 
At layon po namin na makipagtulungan sa inyo, we want to work with you uh, in your provinces in the Philippines. You can contact us at our website, www.riseupfarmers.org. And we have Facebook page, like us in our Facebook page. And you can contact me in my email, Elvin Laceda, E-L-V-I-N-L-A-C-E-D-A, at gmail.com. And our number is 808-732-7990. 232 uh, 808-32-7990. And if you want to have a rise up in your local area, we will work with the local government. We will start a farm school there. And we hope that we can at least have 25 farmers in one area to start the project with. So we can do that. That is so exciting. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people are doing the mangoes now. That's yeah. really popular. Coconut. Um, lychee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want, you like lychee, right? So good. Yeah. <laughs> lanzones. Lanzones, <laughs> yes. Let's do more lanzones and yeah. just flood the world. Yeah. But, uh, man, I want to congratulate you. Uh, what is that award again that uh, you folks are making so much noise about? <laughs> Tell so, us uh, I think everyone is familiar about Walmart. And Walmart is one of the biggest supporter of Enactus. Mm -hmm. So, Enactus is a worldwide network of students that are creating changes and impact throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And so every year, they, uh, each country chooses a national champion. And this mm -hmm. year, we are the national champion for the United States, representing Hawaii and the Philippines. And we will represent the United States in the World Cup in September in San Jose, California. Uh -huh. And our hope is to empower more farmers, not only in the Philippines, but mm -hmm. in Hawaii too. So we're calling all Hawaii farmers in Hawaii who are Filipinos mm -hmm. to join us too. Wow, uh, Brother Paul, you yeah. got uh, 10 seconds each because okay. our program is coming to an end. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I would, we're working on Hawaii as well. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of opportunity and I encourage just, I mean, you look at these students, they're doing amazing things. And I encourage anyone that wants to really make a difference Heavenly to amazing. get started. Yes. Yeah, and what a great opportunity it is to be here in Hawaii with so much support mm -hmm. from our university mm -hmm. and for the development of our future plans, such mm -hmm. as our app and mm -hmm. other great projects that we have in the future. We are so excited. So it's a lot of good things coming along. There you go. Well, mar maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so very much for coming and sharing this wonderful empowerment. I invite you to come back uh, often to visit us. Uh, keep rising up. <laughs> <laughs> Mga kaibigan, uh, thank you again. Thank you to, uh, of course, Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to come to your homes every Tuesday live uh, at 12 noon with Pinoy Power Hawaii. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. Agyamanag iti oportunidad ng intadyo kakapsat ng gagayam. God bless everybody and mabuhay. Maraming salamat po.